Hi everybody, this is Natasha Wilkinson, your independent sensory consultant from Mount Isa, Australia. So, we're outside today because it's the school holidays and my normal area has been accosted by husbands and children. So, this is coming to you a, a little bit late and then I'll be popping on and doing another video which is kind of similar but not similar. So it's time to go through my November Scentsy empties. There are, this is just for two weeks. I do do a Scentsy empties twice a month. I do one about mid-month and I do one at the end of the month. So this is roughly two weeks usage. There are a couple of bars in here that have kind of dribbled over to the first few days of December. And that's mainly because I'm a couple of days late doing my November empties. And the second video that I will be doing later will be my month of vendor usage, what I have been using and enjoying vendor wise. I do like to separate the videos and do one specifically for Sensi and one specifically for my vendor items. But let's delve into it, shall we? So I'm going to start off with non-wax products as per usual. So we finished off a dish soap in vanilla mint. If this did not have that citrus flavor in there, I would love this scent a whole lot more, but it is very bright. It is very fresh and minty. It just reminds me a little bit of a toothpaste type smell as opposed to some other mint scents I enjoy a little bit more. And there's this very tart citrus note, which kind of is a little bit off-putting to me. But I do still occasionally buy it because for some reason, minty scents for cleaning, I do really enjoy to reset the house and just give it that clean, bright, fresh feel. So this one here isn't actually available in Region 3. I must have picked it up on a Facebook buy swap sell, something like that. But, and I wish it was here in Region 3 because we do actually get the wax bar, but we haven't got any of the other products in this particular fragrance in Region 3. And I think it would do really well in Region 3. So that is a, I used up a body wash of Cozy Cardigan one of my absolute favorite scents it's soft it's romantic it's warm it's sensual it's soft suede blushing rose and amber silk so that amber really smooths it out makes it warm and comforting that rose adds a sweetness it doesn't smell like rose but it just adds a little bit of a sweetness and that suede again very sensual earthy and romantic so what else do I have in this little pile of goodies? So I did go through a 25 watt globe in one of my warmers. I have that many warmers. I can't remember what warmer I changed it out of, but I did change it out of one warmer and replace one of my warmers. I just can't tell you which one. So I believe, Okay, so I have a lone dry disc of fluffy fleece floating around. So that would have been from my last laundry bundle where I was using fluffy fleece. I think that's it for non-wax products. So let's delve into the bricks first, shall we? So I can talk about the bricks that I have been using. So the first one, again, another one I picked up at a stupidly cheap price on Buy Swap Sell. Not available as a brick here in Australia, but it was available a few years back as a home for the holidays wax collection in bar form. I did have this in my Sensi Club, but when I picked this particular brick up at a stupidly cheap price i ended up taking it out of my sensi club because i had a small stock of bars and this brick 
So over the two years I have been trolling through those bars and trolling for that brick. And as you can see, I finished the brick completely and I finished all my bars completely. So I'm kind of a little bit sad. I don't have access to this particular scent anymore, but we just had in this current sense of the season collection come back salted caramel toffee, which is from this same collection. So I'm kind of expecting even though it wasn't this year, maybe in a future Christmas year, in a future Sense of the Season collection or a future Home for the Holidays collection, or it might get voted back in to bring back my bar. I'm kind of expecting it will come back at some stage. I just don't know when, could be a couple of years from now. But that is Marshmallow Mint Cocoa. This is absolutely beautiful. Think a mug of hot chocolate with mint absolutely beautiful it's warm it's decadent it's the type of scent you want in your house on a warm drizzly day or where it's overcast and cloudy and you're curling up and watching a good movie you want this scent running through your warmest so i had left of this brick one two three four cubes and there was a day, even though we're now experiencing very high heat here, we're experiencing starting to come into our summer here in Australia. There was a day where it was a little bit drizzly and overcasty and rainy. So my brick was starting to get a little bit gooey dewy. So on that day, this is what went through all those warmers. And I will say for me, most bakery scents I get a day out of and then I'm switching them out because they've kind of warmed away and there is not much left scent wise. But this particular scent I get a good two days. On the third day I can still slightly smell it but it goes strong for about two days in my house and then I get a very tapered off scent on the third day. So I can get about three days with marshmallow mint cocoa. So that has been completely used up and then i worked on some of my icicles in evergreen so i went through three more cubes this went through the open concept area on a day i was doing a big clean just to brighten up and freshen the house this is a tree scent but it's got eucalyptus in it so it's bright and fresh as well and it's very cleansing, particularly this time of year when you're warming a lot of heavier scents. If you want something a little bit brighter and fresher, but still want that Christmas mood going, Icicles in Evergreen is perfect for that. So I worked on three cubes of that. And then in the kitchen, I worked on two cubes of the caramel and chestnut. This is earthy and woodsy but it's also got the sweetness of caramel with it which makes it very very pretty with that sweetness of caramel and it's warm and rich at the same time absolutely love that so as i said i worked on two cubes of that particular one so now let's move on to the bars shall we so what are we going to talk about first? What should we should talk about first? Should we talk about the kitchen? Might do the kitchen area first if I can find all the kitchen bars. I'll try and keep the areas separate. So I worked on some bars in the kitchen area. I think these are the four bars I worked on the kitchen area. So I was obviously in a caramel mood because I also went through a current bar of our scent, current scent of the season, salted caramel toffee. So whereas caramel chestnut has that chestnut, earthy, smooth warmth about it, salted caramel toffee is more a ooey gooey, rich, decadent, chewy caramel. Very sweet, 
but very yummy. So that went through our kitchen one day. And then another day, and I can't remember who suggested this mix, but I was watching someone on YouTube that said this mix was absolutely fantastic and it sounded like I would absolutely enjoy it. So in, I think I did this in automating warmers. I did warm pumpkin drizzle and hug in a mug. Hug in a mug is in my club, in my monthly club. I go through this like crazy. It's one of my favorite scents. So this is just to me a hot chocolate by itself. Warm pumpkin drizzle is a very sweet, it's got pineapple in one of the notes. So it comes across as a very sweeter pumpkin bakery, if that makes sense. There's this like juicy, fruity sweetness in the top note that you can kind of pick up with warm pumpkin drizzle. I enjoyed this mix, but there are other mixes with hugging and mug that I actually enjoy more and I can't and I absolutely love warm pumpkin drizzle too. It's in my club. Both these bars are club bars for me. But I kind of feel for me I like warm pumpkin drizzle by itself. While I enjoyed this mix and could appreciate this mix. I don't know. I just find found that there were other mixes I've tried with hugging and mug that I would definitely go back to and do more of. I would probably, I would definitely go back and do more of Warm Pumpkin Drizzle by itself and Hugging a Mug by itself. But there are other mixes I'd probably use Hugging a Mug more over the Warm Pumpkin Drizzle, even though I did enjoy that particular mix. So, and another day in the kitchen because I was obviously still in this minty type mood. I did Peppermint Dreams. So this is another club bar for me. Now it's different to Marshmallow Mint Cocoa and I do have this bar in my club. So it's another mint chocolate scent, but whereas Marshmallow Mint Cocoa smells like a hot chocolate with mint, this smells more like a baked cake with mint. So you get like a chocolate cupcake and that baked note with mint. And the mint in Peppermint Dreams is a lot more, not as smooth and not as creamy. This is a lot more of a sharper, crisper mint in Peppermint Dreams. I will say with Peppermint Dreams, I do absolutely love it, but the mint warms off quite quickly and then you're left with this ooey gooey like baked chocolate muffin or baked chocolate cake so for the first I guess six hours I get peppermint dreams or a chocolate mint big skip or a chocolate mint cake and then after that mint goes I'm left with chocolate cake so that's what I worked on in the kitchen open concept area I went through a bar of our scent of the month which is a bar of this current scent of the month cinnamon pine cones i enjoyed this scent but i don't know that i was in love with this scent it's red hot cinnamon but with that woodsy note of the pine cones it comes across sweet so you're getting like this play on a home and hearth type a vibe and then you've got that woodsy roasted undertone of the pine cones. I was kind of expecting there to be a little bit more of a tree note. I mean, it is in the woods family, but I get more of the bark of the trees and the cone rather than the leaf of the trees, which was what I was kind of expecting. Now, I only used one bar of this and it filled up my open concept area to the extent that I could smell it coming outside so i will say this is quite a strong performer also currently what is going in my open concept area and this is a little bit of a mixture so these are part of 
December bars. So when I do my tally at the end of this, telling you how many bars I got through, how many bars I brought, these two will be counted in December. They won't be counted in this pile, but because they're in my melting basket now, I'm just gonna give you my warming review of them. So I've got in alternating warmers, Wasail Wonderland and Sweet Orange Pomander. Wasail Wonderland is one of my favorite Christmas scents. It's orange, a little bit of spice and tree. And it's a very sweet, deep, almost spiced orange. Sweet Orange Pomander was from last year's either Sense of the Season or Home for the Holidays Wax Collection. I think it was the Home for the Holidays Wax Collection because Region 1 got this in bricks. And it's nice too, but it is like it's got a candied orange in the background and at the forefront is the spice. So it's more heavy on the spice. I love cinnamon and spice scents, don't get me wrong. But for me, cinnamon and spice scents, I like to add warmth, add sweetness, round out a scent and enhance a scent. So I like it to actually work well with the scent. Rather think of like a um, chorus, rather than being the lead singer and up front and heavy spice with the, rather than it being a soloist, like work in harmony with the other sense, if that makes sense. Whereas this is was kind of the lead singer and the orange was in the background. And I kind of felt it just needed a little bit more rather than just being oomph spice in your face, a little bit of orange. This is beautiful together. The extra orange in this, worked so well with this absolutely love this mix i don't have any more of sweet orange pomanda i do have one more wasail wonderland but this is a combination i definitely do again so with that i think i ended up using one two three five of the cubes in the open concept area with wasail wonderland and then the last three cubes i brought to my bedroom and under the recommendation of melissa johnson hate in one of her mixes she recommended to mix born to shine with sweet orange pomander this was another combination i absolutely love this was my last born to shine bar and this was a very pretty collection it just ended up any bars and i had a lot of these bars in my sexy club but i just ended up cutting all of that collection from my club when I did one of my edits because I just wasn't reaching for them enough but it's a very pretty musky perfumey type scent and as much as I loved it I always found it on the light side in my bedroom but when I mix sweet orange pomander with it it elevated this scent it's still going in my bedroom day two so it made it more long lasting. It's elevated it and I could smell it a lot better. And they just complement each other so well. So I really, Melissa, if you're watching, I really did enjoy that mixture that you keep recommending. They were my last bars, each of these. But again, if I did have these bars, extra bars of these, that again would be another mix. I would definitely do again. So that was, open concept area and because we've now moved on to the bedroom talking about born to shine let's finish actually no i've got one more bar from the open concept area then i'll talk about the rest of the bars i warmed in my bedroom so the other bar i warmed in my open concept area was blue christmas this is another of my favorite christmas bars so this is tree cinnamon there is a little bit of orange peel i think in the back end note Whereas Wasail Wonderland's more citrus heavy with the tree, this is more tree and cinnamon heavy with a little bit of orange. So similar notes, but just one is a bit more predominant than the other. And this is one of my go-to bars every Christmas. I've still got a little bunch of them. I think I've got about four or five. So you're probably going to see over December a few more of these bars as I work my way through that 
Christmas melting box I showed you two months ago of what I was intending to melt for November, December. But I didn't use that one bar then. So that was the open concept area. Now let's talk about my bedroom. I warm through one of my bars of Pacific Sandalwood. This is a favorite for both me and my 10 year old. We fight over this bar when it's not available in catalog and I have to put at least two in my Sensi Club when it retires every season because it is just that beautiful. I tend to keep it for my bedroom. My son, if he's choosing what to warm in the open concept area, will throw this in the open concept area. I kind of feel it gets a little bit lost in there. It may hum a little bit in the background, but I feel this is more of a softer scent, more for smaller areas. It's just rich and romantic, masculine, but feminine at the same time. A little bit perfumey, a little bit earthy, perfect bedroom scent. And this was another bar I picked up from Bicep Cell because it's not available in our region. Slay all day. So this was kind of a tree fresh mint scent. I don't know that it necessarily came across minty. The freshness in it came across to me a little bit more perfumey. I think in our catalogue here, it might be quite close to the new vanilla mint scent that we've got in our catalogue. What is that one called? Is it? It's not vanilla mint, it's frosted vanilla, I think it was called. Well, I'll double check that quickly for you. I think it's frosted vanilla. Yeah, frosted vanilla. So I get similar vibes to frosted vanilla, but this is a lot more tree heavy. So when you're warming it, you're getting that cool, crisp, cooling vibe that mint quite often gives mixed with tree. I really, really enjoyed that one. And then in the bathroom, I finished off a bar of Wild for Four. So this is from our current Halloween collection. This is a tree note with a little bit of orange. This comes across a little bit astringent to my nose. I'm not the biggest fan of Wild for Four. So that's what I've got through in the bathroom and laundry. And then I've got a bunch of testers. As I said, I was working my way through some older testers. So let's talk about them. So I did a combination here of Coconut Coast and Seagrass and Bondi Bungalow in the laundry. So this was just a very, I guess, fresh, tropical, aquatic type scent that went through our laundry one day. I did actually quite enjoy that combination. This next one, I have a feeling this went into the boys' room. So they were a combination of Mad for Melon and Fijioa and Kiwi. So as you can see, some of these scents have not been around for a while. So I'm just trying to use up some of my older broken or discontinued scents. So this was more like a green fruity melon type scent that went in the boys bathroom. Then I did a pineapple type of vibe going. And where did I put this? I have a feeling this might have been in the boys room too for a fresh fruity type vibe. So it was Pineapple Pucker, Lava Palooza, Lucky Star Fruit, and another Pineapple Pucker. So I had just this tropical fruity pineapple vibe going one day in the boys room. The next one, this was in my daughter's room. So lovely lychee. So this was a fruity, floral type scent. Very sweety, a sweet floral. Very pretty in her room. So bathroom laundry. I had silver bells. Close the door. Sorry. 
my three-year-old had the door open and he was going to let the cat out. And the dogs put it in our cats. They don't get on. So in the laundry and in the bathroom area, I had a minty, minty concoction of silver bells and perfect peppermint going. Silver Bells is in my club, absolutely love Silver Bells. It's a candy cane frost pear scent, but that's just fresh and cleansing this minty concoction. Then, this was in my bedroom. I had a combination of lavender cotton and salted lavender going. Absolutely love lavender cotton, but I wasn't the fan of salted lavender. I had two lavender cotton, one salted lavender. The salted lavender overtook the lavender cotton, and when it was warming, salted lavender to me smells like insect and bug spray. So I wasn't a fan of that scent. I don't want to smell bug spray in my house. The next combination. I had going, I think this was in my daughter's room, was appleberry and red candy apple. So this was just a beautiful, sweet, fruity apple scent. Really, really enjoyed that, perfect for this time of year. And the last one that I had going, this was in the bathroom area, Marvel Nine Realms. So going back to those cologne deep. Masculine scents, again, masculine scents aren't my thing, but they work very well in the laundry and bathroom. So, my basket is empty. That is what I got through for the last two weeks of November. I hope you enjoy this video. I'm gonna sign off now and I'll be back again with another one later. Okay, so I'm going to try and place this somewhere in that last warmings video I just did before I say goodbye to you and screen shot in there because I forgot to give you my total November rundown which was always my intention to start doing now so I in November used a total of 40 bars and two bricks up fully so I got rid of two bricks out of my inventory and 40 bars. I purchased a total of 35 bars, which is pretty good. I was expecting to have purchased more bars than what I used up, but I actually used up more bars in November than I purchased, which is kind of my aim with doing these melting baskets going forward, as I said. now. I don't think which I was meaning to do but I never got around to doing it so I'm gonna try and be better next month but I was going to go through with this inventory and tell you what ones were club worthy to me what ones were in my club what ones I wouldn't purchase again what ones that I might purchase again so you could get an idea of what might still be coming in. I mean, I can tell you hug in a mug. I can tell you scents like that. A lot of my bakery scents that I've talked about, and that was gonna be from the beginning of November through to the end of November, but I didn't keep a tally before I threw all those bars out. So I will try to do that going forward, actually. I can probably tell you the last part of November, just not the beginning part of November because I deleted them out of what I've been warming YouTube sections. So, salted caramel toffee, totally club worthy for me. In my club, Peppermint Dreams is in my club. Slay all day, not in our region, but if it ever came to our region would be something I'd repurchase again. I don't know if I'd put it in club but it was be when I would purchase a few and get all day. Wild for floor, I can take it, I can leave it. I'm not the biggest fan of it, so not club worthy for me. Hug in a mug, in my club. Warm pumpkin drizzle, in my club. Brew Christmas, not in my club, because I do have a big stash up. 
if I were to use through that stash because it is one of my favourite and it was to come back in a future sense of the season here in Australia. Going forward, I would put one in a quarterly club so I would only get one come every three months and I do skip my summer month club so I would get three in a year which would be the perfect amount for me to use for Christmas and Pacific Sandalwood in my club. So basically most of what I warmed this last two weeks would be club worthy for me and because I haven't kept the notes from what I've been warming YouTube with my one halfway through the month I can't exactly tell you that one so I just thought I would come in and do my quick update on how much I use and how much I brought out so I'm going to go now and enjoy my goodbye at the end of the video yeah until then stay safe and bye for now